What's up everyone, Bitter Hyena here, and today before our pack opening, we're going to talk about some Pokemon news that's happened over the last few days. It was revealed a few days ago that the next English set, after Ultra Prism, will be called Forbidden Light. Strangely enough, once again, just like uh, the Shining Legend set was, the Japanese SM6 will also be called Forbidden Light. From the looks of it, this set is going to completely surround the Kalos region Pokemon. Pokemon such as Greninja, Zygarde, Yveltal, and Volcanion will also probably be getting GXs in this set from how it seems. Like normal, the English set isn't just going to be one Japanese set. There's usually a few included to make up the whole English set, and it's no different with this one. Our English version will also include the set that comes out this week in Japan, SM5 Plus Ultra Force, which will also include Ultra Necrozma GX and the other purple ultra beast the second form i don't i don't know i'm not that far in the game yet but this guy right here see him this guy he'll be in that set but as of now that is all that we really know about forbidden light in both the english and japanese sets to be honest but what we do know is it will be released on may 4th and the japanese counterpart of forbidden light will be released on march 2nd now if you'd like information on all the new cards that are going to be announced over the next month or so go ahead and go to my about section on my channel and follow me on my twitter and my instagram because as soon as cards are announced in japan as quick as i can i get that information up so we all know what's going on but while we wait for all that stuff to come out and get announced and all that jazz we do have ultra prism releasing very early next month i believe what february 2nd something like that and this set is massive it's over 150 plus cards there's, I've heard rumors of like 35 full art cards or something like that. It's, it's crazy all of the different cards you can, that's coming in this set. It is a combination of the Japanese Ultra Moon and Ultra Sunset that I've opened on here, plus the GX Battle Boost box. So that set is going to be something to look forward to big time because there are some beautiful cards coming in that set. But anyways... Enough about the news, that's all we really know about Forbidden Light for the time being. Like I said, if you want more up-to-date stuff, follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Uh, but that's all I got for you when it comes to the news today, so let's go ahead and get into our pack opening right now. Alrighty guys, let's get to opening some cards. This week we will finally be opening the... Oh, what were these called? The... Mysterious tins or whatever i i forget the exact name but we will be starting with the necrozma one today i'm not a hundred percent sure if these are just burning shadows packs uh i don't know N knowing knowing my luck they're going to be completely different packs other than just burning shadows let's see here and yep Mostly Burning Shadows packs, but not all. Alrighty, there is the code card for the tin there, so you can get Necrozma GX. And then here's the alternate artwork to the Necrozma GX. Now this is a really, really good looking card. I really like the art on it. But I have to say, I actually prefer the original art to Necrozma to, compared to this one at least. It still looks cool, but... It's it just doesn't doesn't look as cool as the original one because there's like that uh, what is it the lamp post and all that in the background I just I like the little detail there but anyways let's get to the packs we do have two burning shadows a guardians rising and an evolutions so maybe we can get something hopefully last couple videos haven't been that good to us as you can tell so let's see here. There is your guys' code card. One, two, three to the front. Alright, cross your fingers we can get something. We have Porygon. Hey, De-Evolution Spray. Nidorino. Hey, Machop. Voltorb. Hey, Diglett. Caterpie. Hey, Poliwag. A Reverse Drowsy. And a Normal Rare Starmie. So nothing out of the first one. Next up is uh, Guardians Rising. I have such a bad time with this set. I have yet to pull anything worthwhile in it. So, I don't know. So I'm guessing all of these tins will be the same. 
so we'll get a Guardians Rising in each one of them. And there's your code. So hopefully we'll have, I don't know, some sort of luck in these. Highly doubt it though, knowing, knowing how Guardians Rising usually treats us. Uh, we have a Rescue Stretcher, a Pseudo Udo, a Lolan Graveler, a Bellsprout, a Gligar, a Lolan Geodude, a Patrat Litwick, ooh, a Reverse Cast Form, and on the end, Drampa GX. All right, well, hey, that's something. We got another GX at least. I've, I don't know, how many times have I pulled him? Um, you know what, I need to sleeve him. I've pulled him probably, I don't know, two, three times now. But yeah, still a cool looking card. I'm not gonna complain about it. Alrighty, there we go, all sleeved up. I don't know why I just threw him down just like that. Completely forgot to even sleeve him. We've got two Burning Shadows packs up next. And we're still looking, just like everyone else, for that beautiful Charizard card. There's your code. I would, I would honestly, I would probably flip if we ever pulled that. All right, but my luck's not gonna allow that. We have a Sophocles, a Robombi, a Wishful Baton, a Sneasel, Charmander, a Crab Brawler, Meowth, a Stuffle, Reverse Rhydon, very nice. I thought that was a Reverse Rare for a second. And on the end, we have a normal non-hollow rare, Electivire. Okay, last pack. Quick little opening here. Don't want to keep you too long after rambling on there at the beginning about the new sets. I can't even get this open, man. There we go. Okay, there is your code. One, two, three, two front take the energy off lightning okay here we go we have a semi seer a porygon 2 chameleon and ink ladybug a caterpie sandy gas a venipede ooh a reverse guzma very cool that's a good card i will definitely take that and a normal non hollow rare past simian Oh well. Still though, that Reverse Guzma is not a bad card. It'll fetch a couple bucks. Plus, you know, most decks take it now, so I'll just put it in mine. Not bad, not bad pulls, not gonna complain. Very nice. Alrighty everyone, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe, and hit the little bell button to get notifications when new videos go up. And like I said before, if you want, Follow me on my Instagram and Twitter account. Both are at Bitter Hyena, of course. Uh, I try to get, like I said, I try to get information out when new cards are announced as soon as I can. Usually as quick as around 5.30 in the morning because I have to get up at 4.30 for work. So I try to stay on top of it as well as I can. As always, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Later.